With deep, penetrating steel blue eyes and little to no fear, this Louisiana Catahoula dog is one of hundreds vying for top dog here at the 10th annual Uncle Earl's Hog Dog Trials in Winfield. Catahoulas are the most popular breed here, but there's plenty of other types of dogs. You've got the, the black mouth, basically from Texas, uh, mountain curs, and then you've got the plot hounds, red bones, black and tans, walkers, blue ticks. Just as, uh, we've even had beagles. It's an open class. We've even had, you know, rat terriers, uh, Jack Russell terriers, baying in it. Of course, you can't watch dogs bay hogs without hogs. So prior to the event, dozens of wild hogs are rounded up in area woods. Today's event is the two dog bay, where two dogs try to keep the hog at bay are in one place. Much like rounding up cattle, only this time, the livestock is a little more temperamental. Dogs that bite and latch onto a hog are disqualified. Bill Griffin has been overseeing the trials since its inception 10 years ago. It's like a cutting horse. These dogs, they're strictly obeying. It's not a, not a catching contest. Matter of fact, we don't want them to catch. If, if they do catch, they've got five seconds to turn them loose. If not, they're disqualified. And the, basically, they're supposed to just control the hog and keep him at a bay. The event is timed. Dogs must keep the hogs at bay for two full minutes. This is Super Bowl of the hog bed industry, of the hog bed. This event has grown from a one-day trial back in 95 to a four-day event today. And many of the attendees come from all over the country, but mainly from Texas, Florida, and here in the Deep now South. Western Mississippi with Buddy and Jim. That we're preserving our heritage. The hog's not a native for the North America. And our native forefathers brought them from the old country. And as we migrated across the South, they brought those hogs with them. And they were a very important part of our heritage and our food chain. And when you put that hog, and they had to grow them in the woods because they produced small food plots, and they would survive in the mash and in the woods. And when you put any hog in the woods, he becomes with a wild instinct. So you had to have a hog to go get your dog, I mean a dog to go get your hog. O'Brien estimates that between 3,500 and 5,000 spectators and participants will take part in this year's event, making for quite a boost to the local economy here in Wind Parish. Not to mention all the money exchanged here at the Wind Parish Fairgrounds, from people buying puppies to a wide array of swine souvenirs, from bookends to a reading lamp. It's all here, and then some. From Winfield, site of the 10th Annual Uncle Earl's Hog Dog Trials, I'm Bill Sherman for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture.